Radio Rahim here in Macau, China, with Brandon Rios. We're in the uh, we're in the basement of the Venetian. Brandon's just lacing up, getting ready for one of his last workouts of the week, right before the fight. Uh, Brandon, you know you, your official arrival was last night. There was a crush of media out there, a crush of fans. First of all, how did it feel walking to the Venetian and knowing that this is finally real? I feel good, you know. It's not my first time walking to the Venetian, so but it felt good. It felt like home. It's first time with the crowd, but it's all right, man. Uh, it's part of the it's part of come with the territory, so it's okay. I'm very happy and very pleased, and I can't wait. Now you said it felt like home, but obviously there's so many uh, you know Asian fans here. A lot of them from the Philippines. It's gonna be a Pacquiao crowd. What makes you feel at home here? It feels home because uh, I'm ready to uh, fight. And when you fight, you're always ready. And I know the competition is ready around the corner, so the fight night's ready here. So it feels like home. Not only that, but you know the Chinese people have been showing me some love. And I'm very supportive, and thank you for that. You know, when this promotion started out, it seemed like you and Pacquiao were a little buddy-buddy. You did a little tour around China. You guys were laughs and smiles. Over this past week, there's, a, there's been a little, uh, you know, stuff talked from, from their side of the camp. Have you felt any change in their mood or, um, you know, approach towards you? Well, if stuff changes in their camp, is because they're kind of worried. But, you know, I'm not really... Uh, if they're trying to play mind games like that, they're fucking with the wrong person because... I don't need to get twisted with that mind games. Uh, you know, the, I, if they want to play mind games, I can play mind games. I can mess with them, but you know, there's no need for me. I don't need to. I'm just here training, focusing, and uh, ready to fight. I don't care uh, whatever they got to say. They can say whatever they say. Uh, I want to hear what what their excuses after I beat them. Uh, Freddie Roach has raised the issue that you're having a hard time making weight. Obviously, oh, yeah. he's not in your oh, camp, yeah. but oh yeah, man, I'm having so fucking hard making weight. I'm like. I'm thinking right now I'm like 175 maybe right now, man. Maybe 175, 180, because he's he's been in my camp. He knows I'm making, I'm having a hard time making weight. So it's okay, man. Uh, uh, yes, I am having a hard time making weight. <laughs> okay, obviously you're kidding. Are you are you having any trouble in this camp at all? Is everything going smoothly? Oh no, man. Uh, Freddie Rose is Freddie. Ask Freddie. Freddie knows he's been in the gym. He's been in my gym. He's been training me. He knows what, what uh, how I'm looking and everything. So if you want to find out anything, ask him. He knows how I've been. Now we've seen uh, one media day, you know, workout. This will be our probably our last one. Pacquiao says that he's got speed on you and angles. He's even suggested he has a power advantage on you. First of all, how do you feel about hearing that? And what are your advantages as you see them in this fight? Oh, that's good. If he has power and speed and angle, whatever, hey, fuck, that's good. That means we got to fight. Uh, uh, but you know what? Uh, I can do that shit all day long. And it's different in the in the fight and then shadow boxing, because the shadow shadow don't hit back and the back don't hit back. So we're gonna see. You can look good in training, but you know what? I think uh, you know I'm at my, I'm at my prime and I think he's passing his prime. You know he's done great. I'm not taking nothing away from Pacquiao. He's done great in the sport, but there's a time there's a time when it comes and you, it's time to go. It's time to hang up the gloves. And you know what? Next superstar is on the rise, and that's me. And uh, finally, Brandon, you said that you're going to come here to Macau and end Pacquiao's career. You intend to retire him. I mean, you can win a fight without retiring a guy. First of all, why do you want to be the guy to retire Pacquiao? And how are you going to beat him to the point where he doesn't ever want to fight again? Because I want to be the guy to retire Pacquiao. You know, I got to. Uh, that's the only way. When I'm ready, I'm ready, man. And I've been training my ass off. And I, I'm going to. It's my goal. If he doesn't retire, that's so cool. But at least I, I beat him in his home turf. You've compared yourself to Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. Uh, this is that kind of fight. This is a kind of fight where if you are the, the embodiment of that guy, it's going to show tonight. Have you studied any of his fights? Is there anything that you're taking from him that you feel could be useful in this fight? Oh, no, man. Uh, Chavez is my idol. You know, I look up to him. I have similar, similar styles to him. But this fight is, uh, you know what, yeah. We got different uh, tactics going into the fight. Uh, Robert and his dad had a great game plan, so I've been following his his instruction. Julio says Chavez followed his, their instruction, his trainer at that time. This time I'm following my instructions, uh, my trainers, and I've been executing it very well, and I feel great. And, man, we're going to show the world that a new Brandon in the ring. They're going to see a different part of Brandon that I've never seen before and watch. They, they're going to be surprised. And after I beat them, I want to hear all the excuses and what they got to say. Lastly, Brandon, there's going to be a few fans in there probably for you tonight or uh, Saturday night, but we're halfway around the world. You've got fans in L.A., fans in Oxnard, even back in Mexico. Is there anything that you want to say to the people that couldn't make it that will be watching on pay-per-view? Pay-per-view, everybody, tune in, buy it, because this is the last time you can see Manny Pacquiao on pay-per-view because I'm going to retire him. 
uh, I gotta go and finish him. I, I'm I'm the one that I'm the next superstar on the rise, and everybody around the world that hates me and doubt and doubts me, hey, it's okay. You still watch me, so you know what? New star on the rise. Here he comes. Radio Rahim with Bam Bam, Brandon Rios from Macau, China.